Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It's one of those chilly, overcast mornings that I love so much. Kind of reminds me of like being a child going to school in the morning. All right, discipline check-in since making that video about having more discipline. I have been waking up pretty early. I decided to even set my alarm to seven, which I did this morning, even though I still got up at eight. So I guess I was just still tired this morning. But the goal is I would like to get out of bed at 7.30, um, at least by 7.30. Because right now I was setting my alarm at 7.30. I'm like, that's, but that's really when I wanted to get up. And so I was getting up at eight because that's just how I am. It just takes me a while to get out of bed. I know it's not good, but yeah, it was just how I am. So I decided to start setting my alarm um, at 7.30, so that's something I'm going to start doing now, or at 7, excuse me, and then try to get out of bed at 7.30, which I didn't succeed at today, but hopefully will in, um, in the future. Anyway, I'm keeping the house, the, my, you know, keeping things cleaner. You can tell the garage is nice and clean right now. The, my room is cleaner. My, um, office is staying clean so some of those things and also the working out is going pretty good too so we're gonna work out for 30 minutes today I'm gonna start off today with a little bit of like uh, gymnast holds and stuff like that because that sounds exciting so I'm gonna do that heading up for the East Coast Lord knows I've paid some dues getting through I'd ask if about to do the same she was standing there and there My back is still hurting. So when I did those pull-ups, I let myself just my lower body hang, and that helps a little bit. I think I'm gonna do that again. All right, I decided to stop the workout a little short. Um, I mean, I was out there pretty much the entire time, but most of that time, not most of it, but a decent chunk of that time, I was just hanging by that bar. It really did seem to get the kinks out. Um, I actually don't have any pain. Though my entire torso seems very kind of feels fragile, I guess is the best way to explain it. I think I am going to sauna this morning, so I'm going to go ahead and warm that up now. I think that'll help loosen everything up. So I'm going to get that going, and then while that's getting nice and hot, I'm going to do some work on the faceplate. I'd like to get a decent chunk of that done today. It'd be really cool, I'm not sure it's possible, but it'd be really cool to get the draft two done before I reach day 100 of the vlog. It's day 79. That might be ambitious, but we'll see. I think I got it. I think I got the um, the hinge mechanism. I'm gonna try showing you guys this on a screencast, I think. I'm feeling weird, let's try it. Tell me if you like this more. Guys, I got a new uh, cable coming for my mic so I can do the screencast next time with a good mic, so I'm gonna show you on the camera for now. Anyway, this may be a little tricky with the cameras. This is why I wanted to use the other one, but if I come in here, okay, so there's, let me show you. These are all the joints in here the little flags with the joints. So if I come in here, this top one rotates up like this, boom. And then, so let's go ahead and rotate it just a little bit more. There we go. And then the this one right here coming off the side, I have, oops, the outer layer, the superficial layer of this plate right here, I have that turned off. So now if I grab this and I push it out, boom, 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 and there'll be a spring doing this. Okay, so there we are. And now, ooh, now, if we're here, see how, if you follow this point down about that far, that's about where the chin will be. So this will come up, or sorry, go like right there. So you can see, you can see underneath it, it'll be right about there, like that. So if we're here again, it'll be coming out to about right there. You can imagine it like that. And that is plenty enough for you to see on it, and it'll kind of come out and then come back in. And then it can be driven by one servo, which I, for a while, I was thinking I was going to have to put a second servo right here on this one to control it, which would be kind of, you can make it kind of smooth, but that seems on, I don't, I'm less worried about things being smooth than I am being things being efficient. 
so I'd have to put two servos in, which is a lot more trouble. So now, as this turns down, it'll start to hit right here. So that's what I want you to look at. So right here, it'll start to interfere. So as this keeps pulling down, you'll see how it's gone through right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go, it's a better picture. Um, it's gone through right there, so now what we'll do is we'll take this and go this way with it until it's like that. So that would be, so essentially as this gets hit and pulled down, it'll force this angle to bend right there. And then as we keep going like that, it'd keep hitting right there, so hitting again. And then let's go a little bit further like that. So obviously there'd be a lot of interference there. So as that happens, it will push this like this. So what it would really be doing would be grabbing it here. Oops, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so what it would really be doing is, so what it will be doing is going like this and then causing that to fold like that. So we'll go a little further on that one. And then, and this joint right here, by the way, this piece is what's gonna be driven by the servo motor. And it should be just that piece right there. And then that'll essentially bring it in to zero like that. And then make sure this one's at zero, that one's at zero. So it'll end up looking pretty cool, huh? I think that's a good way to do it. And this is more bulky. I got partial, this idea I mostly got from someone else online, um, James Burton, if you've ever watched any of his videos. But um, this double part is my design. And the idea with that is that hopefully we'll get out it to come out more. And this also allows this to be bulkier. I think theirs are a little easier to work with because there's not this double part here. There's less room, so I think it's easier for them to get that to slide up because it's just thinner, I think. And then remember the mandible is going to bolt on. Guys, this is where attempt one is going to stop. I added these kind of mandible parts going on here. What I realized I want to do is I want to add another one right on top of that. And then that would be the part that actually meets and closes. I want to do that. I'm still not sure exactly how I wanted to put the metal on it. I don't know. This is this is how it's looking right now. You can see that piece coming to the middle. There be the eye pieces need to be on. Oh, another part I want to add is I want to add an so this one for the top of the eye, and then I'm also gonna add one at the bottom of the eye, so it'll be supported in between both. Let's see. Yeah, I may end up taking out this. Essentially, what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this, right? So this is this is attempt one. I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna do attempt. Two. And the reason I'm going to do attempt two is I just don't really like the shape of it that much. I think I can do better and I want to do better on it. I think I can do better. I think I just need to refine it one more step further I think is a good idea to do. I'm thinking I can probably do it in a day or two now that I have the general idea of what I'm looking for. But I need to do that. So I want to add the part on the bottom. I want to add the part on the top of this. Let's see. I want to... I need to add in how the... Um, in here, you can see there's no servo and or mounting mechanism for the servo, so I need to do that in there. That's most of it. I mean, I could just continue with this the way it is right now and then do it again on draft three. I could do it that way. I might do it that way. I don't know. I need to think about it. This isn't put together right either. This, see, if you look in here, you can see if you see this right in here is actually like has a piece that's going to be laid and stuff in there and actually is capped and fits this right here is just a hole right through the middle of them so that's not really a good way to put that together it's really not even a way to put that together the only way to do that would be put a rod right through the middle and that would fall out it had to be tamped down and then it wouldn't be removable and it's a whole that's that's a whole mess of shit in there it needs to be essentially bolted together and held together like this one down here this one would have a bolt on all of those three parts that open and close head attempt two Working on the sketch. This one's going to be a lot cleaner, a lot prettier. I probably should have done this on the pelvis. I hope I don't run into mistakes on that later. All right, guys. Um, as you can see, I've started the head. I think I've been thinking about this a lot. I think I'm going to use less curved geometry, and it's going to be a much more flat kind of mask. Mostly because that'll make putting the steel on it a lot easier. Because I want the steel on it. Because, like I said. It's Iron Man needs a goddamn metal faceplate. I'm Iron Man. The Iron Man suit needs a goddamn metal faceplate. That's the way to say it. Anyway, 
I think that's what I'm gonna do. Also, it looks more like the Mark I from like the comic books and the movie. And just in general, the Mark I was less shapely. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it on this. Draft two, I'll probably, if not tomorrow, then the day after, I should finish draft two. Um, like I said, I probably should have done that for the pelvis because the pelvis was a little dirty. I probably should have just tried to refine it a little bit more. I don't want to do it again now though because then I also have to redo the lumbar. Um, so I probably won't do that. Probably won't do that. Let's see here. Ooh, I might. There could be a. It could possibly be a way to do it without the pelvis. Probably not going to fuck with it. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me when I work on the legs. We'll see what happens. It's coming along though. I think the head's looking pretty cool. I really like that mechanism for how it opens. I think that's really good. I forgot on the attempt one to put in the spot for the exomuscles. There's two exomuscles that go in to the head, so I need to add those as well. And hopefully that still fits with the, uh, the opening and closing mechanism. Hopefully that still works and doesn't get in the way of that. Let's see, is there anything else you guys need to know? I don't think so guys, it's just more work. That's all we need. Getting closer on the draft too. It's feeling close. And I think, here's what I think. I think because I'm not really doing a whole lot of changing, I changed a lot from draft one to draft two. Here's a list of things right here, speak of the devil, of things I switched from draft one to draft two. I'm not really doing that on draft two to draft three. I'm just pretty much entirely doing refinement. I'm not adding anything new on draft two to draft three. I should just essentially have it all figured out and it's just about refinement. So draft three should go a lot faster than draft two. In theory, that's the theory anyway. I'm getting close on draft two. Getting close, feeling it, feeling it, getting there. Like I said, the head, the neck, and the shoulder girdle are all the parts that are gonna be complicated to finish. And after that, it sh we should really be hitting that home run. You guys are awesome. If you're seeing this for the first time, subscribe. I love you, I love you all. You all great, have a great night.